everyone! Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Margaret, and I have a really, really fun book to share with you today. It's about some little birds, and they're called coos. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love it. It's called Don't Feed the Coos, and it's by Jonathan Stutzman, and it's illustrated by Heather Fox. Now, do you remember what an illustrator is? person who draws the pictures. Very good. And the person who writes the story is called an author. Just a review there. <laughs> All right. This is a really silly story about some coos, which are little birds, that follow this young character around in the story. Now, before I start reading, I want to thank Henry Holt and Company which is um, an imprint of Macmillan Books. We appreciate the permission to be using the stories, so thank you. And now, let's start with our opening rhyme, right? Um, we'll soon be at the library, and we're gonna slap and clap, right? All right, here we go. We'll soon be at the library, and it's story time. We'll soon be at the library, and it's time to rhyme. We'll soon be at the library because we love to read. We all know that it's the place for finding what you need. We'll soon be at the library and we'll have so much fun looking through the greatest books and seeing everyone. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today for this really silly coo book. <laughs> yep, here they are. All right, this is kind of fun when I open the book. Look at all of those coos. Oh my goodness, so many blue coos. That rhymes, doesn't it? <laughs> I turn the next page, look. Coo. They're, cute. They're very cute, aren't they? All right, let's see what happens with the coos. Don't feed the coos. Here we go. All right. When you see a coo, you'll be tempted to give it a treat. There's the coo. Looks kind of hungry, doesn't it? Oops, the page kind of stuck. Coos are adorable, peaceful, kind of silly. But don't feed the coos. <laughs> if you feed one, what's gonna happen? They will all come. So we went from one to many coos, didn't we? All different colors. There's pink ones and blue ones and gray ones, flying ones. Oh my gosh. Coo, coo, coo. Can you make that sound with me? Coo, coo, coo. <laughs> you will try to escape. They will follow you through the park, down the street. Uh oh. All the way home. Your mother will not be pleased. Mom doesn't look pleased, does she? Uh-uh. Lots of coos. Wherever you are, they will be too. Like at orchestra practice. Oh, look. Playing the tuba. <laughs> at the arcade. Oh, my goodness. They followed her to the arcade. There are so many. Look, they're playing a video game up here. Even at karate lessons, your sensei will not be pleased. Okay, that's a sensei. That's another name for teacher. Okay. Oh no. Coo, coo. And to thank you for feeding them, the coos will leave coos. Uh, coo poos everywhere. Coo poos covering everything. Ah, on the books. Oh no. On the fishbowl. Oh dear. What a mess. <gasps> you will lose your socks to the coo poos. Oh no. In the 
backpack and your bed. Ugh, look at that mess that the coos make. Ooh, yucky. Oh boy. Uh oh. So you're gonna lose all these things and then you're gonna lose your mind. Ah, that means you're gonna go crazy with the coos. Oh, all because you fed the coos. Oh dear. You will do anything to make them leave. Looks like she's gonna spray some coo spray, but nothing will work. And they're gonna just use the coo spray as hairspray. See how they're drying her hair with the hair dryer? <laughs> she does not look happy. I think she wants to get rid of those coos. You will try to hide. Oh, okay, so it looks like she went up a ladder into a tree house to hide. Let's see how many coos are here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six coos there. Oh, many more on this page. But you cannot hide from a coo. They'll find you. <laughs> no matter what scheme you cook up. Oh my goodness, hanging up signs like go away. Private property, coo free zone, coo's not welcome. Coo shall not pass. Your plans will fail. They will eat and eat and eat and coo and poo and poo on everything. <laughs> she definitely has a coo problem, doesn't she? It might be like a coo catastrophe. Oh, coo! Oh dear, what's gonna happen? So, just accept your fate. Coos aren't so bad once you get to know them. So give them names. Okay, so we have to accept the coos, right? All right, so we're gonna give them some names. So this one's name is Lizzie, and this one's Neil, and Doug, and Milo, and Mel, and let's see, and Babs, and Chomp, and Gordon, and Mary, and Steve. Make them part of your family. Look, she's knitting them some scarves. Knit them scarves. Make them part of the family. Let's see what kind of yarn. She's got some yellow yarn, and blue, and green. And orange or red? Yep, see those cute little scarves? The scarf does look pretty cute on the coo, doesn't it? <laughs> Take them on walks to the park. Coos love the park. A healthy coo is a happy coo. So she put the coos on leashes and she's taking them to the park. Now I want you to look very carefully at the tree in the park. There's a sign. It says missing pigeons. Hmm. There's a man on there. Looks like he's missing some pigeons. Okay. Yes, feed them bird seed. Coos love food more than parks. Okay. So yes, we're gonna give them some seeds. Here we go. And she's gonna take them through a walk in the park. This is where the story started. Page is stuck again. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. You're getting the hang of this kid. Embrace your coos because they will be your coos till the very end. All right. So she's got some stand seeds and they're liking it. There's absolutely positively no way to get rid of them. Now, if you look carefully though, she's giving some of the food to this man on the bench. He looks kind of familiar. No way to get rid of them? Clever child. It looks like there is a way. There was a way to get rid of the coos. Look! Now the man has the food. All the coos are going to stick with him. So watch. That's the end of our story. And at the end it says, we warned you. Don't feed the coos. But I want to show you something. If we go back to the beginning of the story, when the little girl was in the park, I'll show you a little uh, discovery that I found. You ready? And I want to see if you found it too. At the beginning, when she said, you will, they, you will try to escape and they will follow you, look who's there. 
It's that same man. And he looks sad, doesn't he? He looks sad because the coons are gone. But he got them back in the end, didn't he? Yeah, the coons came back. <laughs> Don't feed the coons. Such a fun story. Funny. Fun and funny. <laughs> All right, let's do a song. Let's do a song together. Um, I'm going to get out my scarf. My green scarf. Now, if you don't have a scarf, that's fine. You could just use like a dish towel or maybe even just like a, a, a small t-shirt or something because we're just going to wave it. Whatever you can wave like this because we're going to do wave our, wave our scarves, that song we used to do in story time. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is how it goes. I'll do it once and then we'll do it together. All right. Here we go. We wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together, we wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. Now, wave them up high, wave them down low, wave them in the middle because it's fun to do. Do you remember that? I thought you would. All right. So I'm going to give you a minute. Get your dish towel or your t-shirt, or whatever you want to wave. And let's do it together. Here we go. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. Wave it up high. Wave it down low. Wave it in the middle because it's fun to do. Yay! That was fun, right? All right, now we're gonna throw our scarves, okay? Instead of waving them. Ready? We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together because it's fun to do. Throw it up high. Throw it down low. Throw it in the middle because it's fun to do. Yay! Well done. Well done, friends. Okay, I'm going to put my scarf over there and we're going to do our goodbye. Ready? It starts with wave high, wave low. I think it's time. I have to go. So wave your elbows, wave your toes, wave your hips, and wave your nose. Wave your ears, and blink your eyes. Wave your hands, and say goodbyes. Get your bubbles, bubbles first. Before we say our true goodbye, we'll do our bubbles. Here we go. One, two, three, bubbles, you and me. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles in the air. One, two, three, bubbles, you and me. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Everywhere. There they are. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm going to spread them out. <laughs> okay, hand stamp time. Ready? Get out my pad. And boop. Single one. You want double? Okay, we'll do another one. We'll do the other hand. Boop. There's your two. Thanks for joining me and the coos. <laughs> Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Take care, everybody. <laughs>